Hey, what is going on guys? It's the Gamer Pro Wars. I should be in today's video. I'm bringing you guys the top five most overused weapons in Black Ops 3. Now, I am level 163 Master Prestige right now in Black Ops 3. So you guys know that I've been in a ton of games and I witnessed pretty much everybody killing me and what guns they use. So as you guys know, this is going to be my first top five on this channel. So leave in the comment section down below what you think of this first top five and if I should continue this every week, possibly, maybe, I don't know. But we're going to go ahead and jump into the first weapon. We're going to go from five and then go on to the number one spot and the number one spot being the worst gun or the best gun that everybody uses and is considered overused so in the number five spot comes the Razorback now the reason everybody uses this weapon is one because it has no recoil for an SMG as you guys know an SMG is meant for close range combats and it's not meant for long range but this Razorback can be considered as an assault rifle it has the lowest recoil in its class you don't have any any recoil on that weapon and it's so so good to use but the only problem that people have with it is that its damage is kind of on the low side and I can agree with that because it takes between four to five even to six shots at long ranges to get a kill with that but honestly if you put rapid fire you don't even see it because you kill people so fast and even when you put rapid fire on the weapon the recoil does not change whatsoever but if they could tweak the weapon is probably to increase the weak recoil a little bit and add a little bit of damage. Now coming in at our number four spot, it is going to be the KN44 Assault Rifle. Now the reason it came in number four is because if you guys notice, you have the option to create a class at level three or four when you first get Black Ops 3. And it's literally the first option, literally create a class one, is the KN44. So every person that's new to Call of Duty is stuck with the KN44 and they want to get that gun gold, they want to max it out, and that was the same thing with me. And till this day, I see people using the KN44 because honestly, it's a really, really amazing weapon. It's between a three to five shot kill. The five shot kill range is a really, really long distance. The four shot kill range is the expected amount of bullets that you have to put into an enemy because it's a four shot kill weapon. That's the most um, amount of bullets you have to put in, except for a five, which is like really, really long ranges. And it's honestly, you'll never, you'll most likely get a four shot kill. But if you pick off like someone from like sniper range, that's the only reason you'll get a five shot kill with the KN44. Now coming in in our number three spot, it is going to be the Man O' War. God, this weapon just is amazing. I have always used this since day one, since I unlocked it, I believe at level 33. I have just been stuck with this weapon. I use so many attachments. This is probably the most used weapon except for the VMP. This is the one under the VMP. And the Man of War is just such, such an amazing assault rifle because one, you're pretty much expected a three shot kill range. The, the, I think it's like 18 meters with the Man of War. That was just a fucking guess, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. But the Man of War, it just feels like you get three to four shot kills every single time. And its fire is a bit on the slow side. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. That's the only downfall of the weapon. But its damage is so high and you pretty much win gunfights all the time. There's so many countless, countless amount of times that I've been up against an XR2 KN44 and I've just outclassed them with the Man of War. So that's why it comes in our number three spot. And if you guys don't believe me, you can just hop into a game and you'll see at least two people are using the Man of War. It's just, it's just so easy to spot. Now I bet you guys know the last two weapons that are going to be in this top five. So in the number two spot comes the Vesper. Oh Vesper, it just had such a hard time in Black Ops 3's life cycle. It has got so many buffs, so many nerfs, and it's still not a perfect gun overall. I feel like there's still gonna be more buffs to it and there's still gonna be more nerfs. It's just like the recoil pattern on this is just so hard to manage. So if you guys don't know the first two months of Black Ops 3, the Vesper was such such an amazing amazing weapon it had no recoil the accuracy was amazing the it, just the overall weapon was amazing especially because of the rpm of the weapon i believe it shot at 11 1100 or 1200 rpm just like the scorpion evo from black ops 2 did and honestly i just loved the weapon i used it all the time but i think in january when they rolled out the first patch they literally took a hammer and broke the Vesper. It had so much recoil, it was unusable, and then they realized that that was the most unused gun after that patch, and then they decided to buff it again, then nerf it, then buff it, then nerf it. And now I believe in the last patch, they buffed it again. So I have never seen a weapon in any Call of Duty have this many flaws and this many buffs and nerfs. So guys, if you don't agree with me that the Vesper is the most overused weapon, you are just like under, you're like sleeping under a rock or something, because this, is still people love to use this weapon but the only problem is is that it has a little bit of recoil but if you guys remember the first three to four months of the life cycle of the vesper it was a 
just a butt ton of fun to use and I really enjoyed it personally. So now the number one spot, which you guys 100% know, I almost most definitely know that you guys are expecting this. It is going to be three, two, one, the VMP. Yes, even when they just buffed it and nerfed it, you just can't stop using the VMP. It just feels so amazing to it. It feels better than the Razorback, honestly. When you put a foregrip and rapid fire, if you guys have seen my streams, I've used it a lot and you are guaranteed pretty much a 1KD with it because it shoots fast, especially when you put rapid fire in it. With foregrip, it pretty much decreases the recoil, so it's a laser, but now I've seen that they've added a little bit of recoil to the VMP and it's a little bit more hard to control, so people are gonna die down from the VMP and start using the Vesper again, since again, it got buffed in the recent patch, 1.14 I believe it is, yeah, I think I said that. Now going back to the VMP, every pub stomper and every competitive player of Call of Duty has used the VMP and has enjoyed it. Now when I wanna do good in a match, I pop out the VMP with rapid fire, stock, and foregrip, and I do amazing and I feel so refreshed and I'm like, yes, I can finally go into Call of Duty, but now they have nerfed it and now I feel like I'm not gonna use it as much. Now the Vesper is gonna shine its light and it's going to be used in more games, I feel like. But some people say that they can't see the difference with the Vesper since they nerfed the recoil supposedly, but I feel like it's not gonna be that much of, an, of a noticeable thing. Now in all honesty, if the Vesper and the VMP stay as they are throughout the rest of Black Ops 3's life cycle, I feel like as if I'm gonna put those two weapons onto the side and not use those as much. I'm gonna focus more on the Cuda and the Razorback because I feel like the Cuda and the Razorback are gonna be a bit better. But in the latest patch, the Cuda did get a slight nerf, and by slight, I mean a huge nerf. The three and five shot kill range are decreased, so that means you are going to get more four and five shot kills because I've seen the three shot kill range and it's so, so minimal. It's literally like almost knifing range. And it's, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, it sucks. So you're gonna expect more four and five shot kills with that weapon. And I feel like out of all four of those weapons, the VMP, the Vesper, the Razorback, and the Cuda, the Razorback has to win, guys. I'm sorry, but I feel like the Razorback feels the best. It has no recoil, its damage is okay. It's not the best, but it's still a, a, just an insane assault rifle machine, if you guys wanna call it that. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you do. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video tomorrow. Peace out.